the friggin' thing is really, it's really <laughs> super loud. What's up? So, today I'm gonna make a video on how to, how to wire up a 1JZ into like pretty much anything. I think it's pretty simple. What you have to do is you have to find the, the common wires like this, this black and white one. I got all the coils. See that that one's the black and white one. That one's the black and white one. Uh, that one's the black and red one. Use a continuity tester to find them from here, and then uh, use the continuity tester. You hook one side of the continuity tester to the to the top side of it, and then you find it through the harness, the harness goes through here, through here, and then out here. <laughs> and if you know what you're looking for, it's, it's pretty easy. So I went and did the continuity tester and I, I found these two big black and white wires and a red wire. So you pretty much have to find which wires come from from here, from this one, and the power wire, and then you have to find them over here. Then after you're done with that, you have to come over here to the injectors, and see how there's one black and white wire over here, there's another black and white wire. They all have black and white wires, and you have to use your continuity tester again to, to go through the harness and then you have to find it over you have to find it over here so one of these white wires is for the coils one of the white wires is for the it's for the injectors and I think this this red wire is actually this this coil right here so, so you get power pretty much to the to the coils. You get power to the coils, switch power. Um, you get power to the injectors, and you can put them in the same one. I put the both the injectors and the coils on the same switch. So I flip that switch, and it gives power to the coils and the injectors. And and then for the ECU, I have a a Crown ECU. And pretty much the ones I had to do was battery, which is this top one, and B, which is this red one. And then I hooked that up to, to the fuse, and, and it goes to the fuse box. fuse box. So then you have power to these two, this one and this one plus B battery and then you have powers to the coils and injectors and then down here man, let me see if I can and this is just like temporary I'm planning to, to tuck the wiring harness but down here you're gonna see okay so this is the starter this, if you, if you look at it from up here, it's that, that thing right here. So, if you come in close, there's one, there's gonna be one post that needs a, like a really heavy duty gauge wire. And that one, I have it running. I have it running with an old pair of jumper cable and I tied it directly to the battery. That, that one's for the starter. And then there's another one for the solenoid, which is... Um. <laughs> let, me, let me remember where the solenoid is. It's right next to it. Ugh. 
So right behind this one, there's a wire for the solenoid, which, and um, this part gives, you always have it connected to the battery, this big gauge wire. And then the one behind it is a smaller wire for the solenoid. And that one you have it hooked up to your, to your starter button. So this one that I'm touching right here is a, is a connector back here. And you get it, you get the connector, you hook it up to, to a switch and a fuse, and, and that's gonna be connected to your starter, to the to your push button starter, however you want to start it. But that's the starter switch pretty much. So when you push that starter switch, that's gonna give power to the solenoid, and then the solenoid gives power to this, and then this is actually this big cable gives power to the starter so it actually turns your engine so and then you have to do the igniter this is the igniter for the crown the one that I have hooked up is this big white one on the end and then this white one goes from here and then it goes here that one's just the ground and I, I'm, I'm, I just hooked it up to this right here Oh, let me move this light. So I just hooked that up to that. It's just a bolt. Okay. So what you have now is you have to look for the power to the coils. You have to look for power to the injectors. You have to ground the igniter. You have to hook up your, your starter with one big gauge wire you can use old jumper wires and that, that one goes straight to the battery and one small wire to the solenoid which when you push that start button it'll it'll engage the solenoid like what you also need to do is hook up your fuel pump so you're gonna have your fuel pump you're gonna have <laughs> Where is it? So th this is, oh, I can't even, I can't even see anything. So, that right there is gonna be your inlet that lets fuel into the engine. So your tank is gonna go from your tank to here. And then, uh, oh, then you go up here. That's that's my dog. <laughs> then you go up here, and this one is gonna be the return for the fuel. This one right here, and you can follow it back, and that goes straight to the fuel rail. This one right here, and then I I, I put a. Uh, fuel pressure regulator right here and that way that way you know how much pressure you have or if you have pressure that way it's good for diagnosing things and then so it goes from here pretty much back to the gas tank it goes from the bottom of the car and then it comes out the top and you have to hook up both or else like if you only hook up one side it'll just start like It'll start popping the fuel, the fuel hoses. To conclude, to make a conclusion, so you need power to the coils, power to the coils, power to the injectors. Find the power to the injectors. Make that switch power. You have to hook up your starter, which is oh, right there. You have to hook up your starter right, and then you have to hook up your ECU right here. I just did battery and plus B, and then this white one goes from here, and then it goes here. That one's just the ground. So that's it. I think that's all you need. So yeah. Um, I just kind of did this video because everything that I tried to find oh also if you're gonna buy 
a one day z off of ebay this is the ecu that this engine came with and if it has this black box on the side like this black plug it means that it has a immobilizer in it so i had to scrounge ebay and find a find an ecu that doesn't have the black box right here the black plug or the gray plug so this one's not good this one's good you don't you don't need that black plug because that means that it has an immobilizer and it'll you'll never start it so you'll have to buy a new ecu if you'll have to buy a new ecu if you have one of those um and um, yeah make sure you, you just have all the fuses and everything so you don't mess anything up if you like this shit um subscribe to my channel and i'll i'll probably be making videos every weekend all right peace and leave a comment if you have questions peace out